Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the STEM Alliance Scientix and Lenovo webinar, Turning Waste into Educational uh, Wonder. This webinar is co-organized by the STEM Alliance Scientix and Lenovo. My name is Luigi Prisco, and I work at European Schoolnet as a project support coordinator for the STEM Alliance. Together with us today in the room, we have my colleagues, Rocio Benito and Camilla Zonta, who will be supporting us in the webinar from a technical point of view. If you have any issues with your audio or connection, please do not hesitate to send us a message in the chat. Before going through the agenda, uh, let me share some technical details. So you will see that your microphones and camera are off, but don't worry if you have any questions, uh, simply write them in the chat and my colleagues will pass them on. Uh, also, during throughout the whole presentation, we will be sharing valuable information and helpful links in the chat. So um, pay attention to the chat. Um, in this webinar, Lenovo Expert will introduce the company's sustainability driven project promoting STEM engagement through creative reuse of packaging materials and the competition Turning Waste into Educational Wonder organized with the STEM Alliance and Scientix. And finally, you will be able to ask questions through, uh, throughout the webinar and we will address them in the Q&A session at the end. Thank you so much for being here with us and presenting and discussing today. So, Marine, I will leave the floor to you. My pleasure. Uh, thank you very much. And um, hello, everyone. Very happy to be uh, with you today. And uh, start, you know, by giving you a little bit of insight uh, of uh, who, we, who we are, uh, Lenovo, and uh, why, you know, today we are talking to you. Thank you very much. So just to give you some uh, uh, information related to Lenovo, because I, I'm not sure that you are all familiar with, uh, with uh, our company. So basically, um, uh, our company is uh, operating in the IT industry for uh, four decades, starting as a, as a very small uh, startup uh, in, the, in, the, in the 80s. Um, and then, you know, uh, having different key milestones in the development, um, I would say the second decade of uh, Lenovo has been uh, in growing, becoming um, a, a big company in China and in Asia Pacific. And then uh, another big milestone has been uh, in 2004 with the acquisition of the uh, IBM PC division at the time, which, you know, really, you know, uh, moved Lenovo into um, uh, international space and, um, and um, um, globalization. And then uh, more recently, um, we entered a, a different type of uh, decade with a, a, a real transformation approach, which uh, is um, uh, driven by the idea to transform uh, and support the support the, the digitalization of, our, of of the society, and more specifically, uh, make sure that we are able to propose solution uh, to support those transformation. So this is what uh, we we call bring smart technology for all, and this is what is really dri driving us for the for the last uh, twenty years. If um, I move to the next slide, like this, just to give you a few few numbers. Because obviously, you know, I um, there is two things I want to mention. First of all, insist a little bit on the globalization of Lenovo, who has two headquarters, one in 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 China in Beijing, uh, and uh, another one in in the US. And you know, just to reflect on this uh, globalization of the company is that we are present on more than 180 countries across the globe, and today we have more than 75. Thousand people, uh, employee in our company, and the second thing I want to highlight is the um, the importance of uh, innovation in the development of Lenovo, and to you know illustrate this um, the, the the importance of uh, um, innovation is that we have a very important number of uh, R and D uh, location once again located everywhere in the world, so we have eighteen of them. And uh, and also the number of patterns that uh, patterns sorry that we have uh, uh, that uh, we we granted more than thirty three uh, thousand of them so showing you know the the constant focus on keep innovating to to adapt the solution that we can propose uh, to the IT industry then you know obviously the reason why we do it is because the world is evolving into uh, uh, digitalization. Uh, and also the fact that you know there is a need uh, for uh, um, uh, in 
infrastructure and also the fact that the, the, there is a need for more services, you know, to support everyone in this transformation. So this is where, you know, we operate, the world where we operate and where we have to propose something which is relevant to our uh, customer and our user. And once again, this is where we, we focus on. And uh, if I want uh, to um, focus a, a, a on, on, on uh, even a, a specific angle that we have is that in, in this history of Lenovo, four decades, um, it has become more, impo more and more important the, the, the fact that we have to structure ourselves around our sustainability. It is becoming an imperative, obviously, for you know, the, the world, but for us as well. You know, we need uh, to take uh, strong commitments to go beyond and be uh, and be leading the way in this area. So you will see that we have a certain number of uh, ways to do it. But what I want to highlight more specifically is the fact that among all the commitments that we do around sustainability, um, there is one that I will mention more specifically: that our commitment to net zero with um, uh, for for 2050, which is not something that we just commit and we say. You know, it, it is something which is uh, uh, validated by external. Um, organization, so the science-based target initiative. So it is really something that we are um, measuring, uh, you know, put targets uh, on some specific aspect of uh, which will lead to a net zero, especially the uh, the um, uh, emission of uh, gas. So that is some, which is something key. But you will see that obviously uh, ESG is not just about that, but still, you know, it's something super important for us where we have a strong commitment. So. Um, obviously, um, um, sustainability is not just about environment, it's also about social investment, it's also about the governance that we put in place, and those three elements are key pillars of our strategy around sustainability. I just want to illustrate somehow some of the uh, innovation which is uh, supporting our commitment to sustainability. I, I won't go uh, into detail for all of those uh, things that I am putting here on the slide, but just to show you that, you know, to be, um, to, to support sustainability, it requires innovation. Um, and then those innovations are, are, you know, linked to specific uh, uh, patents again, some, um, some new things that we are embedding in our process, in our product, some new um, um, uh, way of producing as well. So, you can see, you know, some of those uh, examples. So the water cooling technology that we have in, uh, implemented for, for many years now. The fact that we are also, um, uh, we have some technology, solder technology based on low temperature. Uh, the fact that the way we um, we enhance our packaging. So different type of initiative which requires innovation because sustainability requires innovation. And this leads smoothly to the next topic, which is the topic that we have today. So innovation is also proposing um, new ideas, uh, which is a bit different from what we used to do, you know, where we are really focusing on IT and, and the technologies. Innovation is also about thinking out of the box. And I think for uh, the, the purpose of today, out of the box is probably the right, the right term. So reason why we have launched um, a specific initiative called Turning West into Educational Wonder, where um, you will see we really want to embark uh, most of a uh, maximum of people with, uh, with, uh, with us and most specifically you. So to come to innovation and to come with some idea, this is a journey, right? We don't, you know, it, it's something that we need to, um, to reflect, to brainstorm. And then from those discussions that we have, then comes, you know, some, some great ideas that we need to transform. And this is exactly what happened with this initiative. So I just take a moment here to say that this um, idea is coming from some discussion we started last year uh, with the STEM Alliance, where we had a workshop with teachers, where we were listening to some of you, you know, to understand what is your expectation, what can be something innovative for you. Then, you know, we, we had another discussion and, and a roundtable with our um, business partner, the reseller uh, we work with. Then we tested some of those uh, ideas at BET last year. And, this journey um, uh, naturally, I would say, um, led us to, to the um, um, initiative that we have now. And 
just to come back a minute on, on the reason why, you know, we, we want to, to propose those type of initiatives. There is three main reasons. The first reason for us is to demonstrate that we can adapt the commitment that Lenovo has on, IS, on ESG, so on environmental and social governance, to something more specific for education. That was really core for us that we, we also show that we can do um, some innovation in education around uh, environmental and social governance. The second aspect is the fact that we want to differentiate ourselves. We want to create some emulation uh, in our ecosystem that you know, will ultimately drive new ideas um, and uh, new discussion and new ideas moving forward. And last but not least, we also want to uh, demonstrate that in Lenovo, we don't just, um, we, we're not just focusing on the device and, and the laptop that uh, we, we sell to the school, just to give you an example, but also that um, uh, we are really focusing on, on the solution that we can propose. And we believe that this one is a good illustration. So now let's come to the, to the, to the initiative it's itself. So what is it about? Our idea is really to reuse or repurpose the packaging of our uh, education laptop. So we have we are selling laptops uh, dedicated uh, with dedicated um, uh, features for education. So usually they are ruggedized, you know, they have the right format and those type of things. So we have decided to enable uh, the um, repurposing of the packaging of those uh, laptops to do something for you that you can use in your class um, to um, create innovation, to trigger creativity, and to you know, also uh, give um, uh, a space to develop STEM um, knowledge. And um, I think to illustrate that, uh, the best way is to show you in video what this project is about. Thank you for the applause. Thanks a lot. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, the, the concept. So let me explain a little bit more in detail. So have you seen, we are proposing a, a new type of experience with our packaging. So when you will receive the laptop in class, uh, you will see that um, there is a, um, uh, th th there is a, uh, a, la a label saying that don't waste me, but repurpose me. And when you will open the packaging, you will see that there is some activity which are proposed. You will see, you know, some uh, cutting lines, which suggest that there is something to be done with those packaging. And you will have a QR code that you can flash, which will lead you to a dedicated website that we have, where you will find all the instructions to support those activities in your class. And uh, Luca will, uh, will mention uh, more in a minute, but we have been partnering with him uh, to create those activities, which will be adapted to, let me move to the next slide, to uh, different level of pupils. So you can have those um, activities with the pupils from eight until, you know, uh, till 16 or even more. Um, those activities are mostly around two aspects electronic circuit and the illustration of forces. So we propose four activities for each of them. And you will have you have a booklet where you will find all those activities described very um, uh, precisely. You will see for what type of um, uh, student uh, pupils level uh, is it adapted to? What are the pedagogical objective? What will be the process? What is the expected result? What you need in terms of uh, materials? Um, also, all the steps 
uh, to build the um, the um, the experience and um, and also what what, uh, what you will what your pupils will learn out of it to support this booklet and to help you further we have created some uh, video tutorials where step by step we are describing those activities so once again a big thank you to Luca who supported us in this journey to make sure that you know we have a teacher a real teacher experience to uh, to to show you know to show you how you can manage that in class those booklets are available in different lang languages english italian spanish uh, and and french um I would like to spend just a moment to show you really how those booklets look like. So if we can share the booklet themselves, thank you, Lou. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Rocio. So you will see, you know, this is a document which is um, more than 50 pages where, you know, you will find all the activities described. So here we start with an introduction to explain what it is. Um, so you can, you can see, you know, there is a, 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 a summary of all the activities which link to all to each activities, and this is the illustration of the first one, where we really explain, you know, what is the um, uh, the objective, the result, the process, as I said before, what you need, uh, and then you know step by step um, instruction to uh, to move forward. And you will find those step by step um, um, activities also with, um, uh, illustrated in the video. Thank you for for sharing the booklet. As I said before, we have. Uh, a dedicated website. We have booklets adapted in each language. We have tutorial videos to make it up uh, to support you as well. Um, and then obviously we want to do more. Um, we are proposing to onboard you on this journey with us so that you can also maybe have a more active role than, you know, doing those activities in class, but also maybe proposing some activity that we could publish later on. Um, so let me just take control again to move the slide, maybe. Yes. Um, and, you know, for if you want to get more information already now, you have the QR code available that you can already, you know, uh, uh, flash now. So which will lead you to uh, to the um, dedicated page for it. And um, and then, you know, um, I also want to emphasize the fact that we have been able to produce all those uh, assets with the help of our uh, partners, STEM Alliance, of course, Intel, Microsoft, which has been key partner you know, to make it happen and to offer you those assets um, for the back to school. So we can be ready for, uh, for you already now. So I believe now we are moving to the next step uh, of, uh, of the webinar, which is about um, the, the contest which, uh, we that we organize uh, with STEM Alliance. Uh, now I will pass the floor to uh, Luca, who will briefly go through into example of the booklet uh, which Marin was speaking about. Uh, the floor is yours, Luca. Oh, you can take control you. of the presentation. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. I beg your pardon for my English. It's not so polite like Marin's English. But, but <laughs> we, we, we can try to reach the end. Uh, it's a it's a fun story about the the, the booklet because it, uh, everything has begun with a with a phone call with uh, with our friends Raffaella. She asked me uh, what we can do. We we can do same activities with cardboard. I didn't know nothing about the idea and project. I discovered everything later, and I said yes. And it was a a, a very exciting uh, uh, journey uh, uh, along the realization of the booklet. Uh, Everything I did uh, is uh, uh, what uh, what we do with my students every day. Tinkering uh, at this the, the the art of use everything you have uh, on your table in your house uh, uh, to, to do something. But even robotics coding and uh, uh, STEM. What is STEM? Uh, STEM uh, generally means uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But I think it's something more than this. These are just words, just just topics. But uh, STEM for me is uh, is uh, uh, I, I used to we used to call computational thinking. Everything started when uh, when uh, Seymour Papert there was a, a computer scientist. He was a pedagogist. He was a, a he was a, a mathematician. He was a genius, you know, as a 
uh, uh, following the indication of Barack Obama that wanted that one, start to, to make, uh, to develop uh, uh, coding and computer science to the, to the child, to the primary school. Uh, you see a beautiful picture with uh, Marvin Minsky that he was one of the father of artificial, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, we discover how to make science, not only to know science, but to 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 become a, a person in life. That is uh, uh, one of my most exciting uh, challenge uh, for my work as a, as a teacher. Uh, I like this. Uh, I like this, this quote uh, of uh, of uh, Seymour Papert. The role of a teacher is to create condition for invention, rather than provide the ready-made knowledge. I really like when my students are are uh, involved to doing things. When doing things, they don't need me to learn to learn what I want to teach. I, you don't need a book. You need your hands. Uh, uh, that's very important. Uh, it's very important in life. Uh, I want to show the first. I, I choose for my for the for the booklet uh, two uh, equations that are uh, two of the most important equation in, in in the world of science. But in, in the world, it's enough. The first one is uh, the 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 Ohm law for electricity. It's very difficult. It's very it's very difficult when you study this law as I studied at university and in school using the book. Uh, I start teaching uh, this uh, uh, this law using uh, this. Uh, I I didn't invent nothing, you know, actually. And uh, what I teach and what I show in the booklet is, is not rocket science. It's nothing difficult. This uh, this engineer, uh, Anne-Marie Thomas, uh, invented in this very incredible activity that is squishy circuits. So the art of uh, of uh, Light up uh, LEDs with the with the with the clay with the clay and the batteries. It's very easy. You need um, less than one minute to do that. But you understand everything you need for 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 law. You understand potential. You understand intensity. You understand the resistance. It's very easy. It is very effective. Uh, the next step uh, is to try to teach uh, 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 electric circuits series and parallel circuits and uh, to do that uh, i don't want to explain uh, i want to show this is this is a, a a toy of my son this is a card that i built for my son with uh, with ice cream uh, stick so it was very funny and uh, uh, we repeated the, the activities with uh, uh, with uh, uh, with the cardboard i want to show you the the video
Thank you, Luigi. Uh, uh, the, the hands you see in the in the video are my hands, and uh, I tell this because uh, if I am able to do that, uh, every every student can do that. I'm not so 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 good with the uh, with the ads. It's very easy to do that. It's a it's a the the funniest way to to understand uh, to understand uh, electricity. Uh, if I can have the presentation, uh, uh, I want to show them the the last uh, the last couple of the, uh, of, of slides. The other famous uh, uh, physics law, the physics equation that I I I I, I had to, to, to the booklet right? was the, the the Newton law, was the the Apple law. You know, I, I, every every people knows this, and uh, uh, I used this equation to 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 I, I had this equation to I I think one of the most famous project uh, uh, with cardboard. That is a a, a robotic hand. This is one. Uh, uh, this one a very uh, uh, a very advanced the robotic hand, but we build a robotic hand with cardboard. I want to show you the the video, and uh, uh, then I I get back to the presentation. It's a very, very easy project. But with this project, you you will discover reading the the, the booklet. You can study forces, uh, uh, elastic forces. You can st study co co conservation of energy, and you can uh, uh, going on to uh, through the robotics and the electronics. I, I want to show you the last two the last two slides. Uh, if you if you send me the presentation, because you can uh, you you can move the the ends with with your ends uh, as you seen in the video, but you can use something more. Uh, uh, um, I'm talking about uh, uh, I I think an Arduino an Arduino board uh, Arduino Uno board with a, with a servo motor. Uh, uh, it's here. I have a, I have here. Uh, it's here. Uh, you can use an Arduino or Uno or connected to a servo motor. It's very, it's very easy to 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 program the, uh, the movement of servo motor. You can use a, a, a potentiometer to 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 control uh, by the distance the, the the robotic hands. You can use uh, uh, if you are able. This is much more difficult, but you can use a flex sensor so you can move your hand and the, on the other side of the room the robotic hand will move uh, will move alone. So. Uh, as Marina has told, these are activities that you can use with with all your students, starting from primary school through the university. This is a project very complicated. So the only the only limit that you have with the, with the cardboard with the science is uh, is the creativity. That is one of the much more important words in a school. Okay, it was very difficult, but <laughs> I finished at the end. Thank you, everybody, and thank you, Luigi, for the patience. So now let me introduce you to the STEM Alliance Lenovo competition, Turning Waste into Educational Wonder, a competition where um, we will invite you and encourage you to join. 
Firstly, the competition is part of the many activities organized within the Back to School campaign, an annual event um, organized by the STEM Alliance, which aim, uh, aims is to motivate young people for STEM subjects and career, uh, showcasing the endless possibilities within the STEM field. This year, the campaign focuses on empowering STEM future. So we will organize many activities within the campaign, including, of course, the Lenovo competition um, that I will present now shortly. Uh, so stay tuned and go explore the campaign. You can click either on the um, here on the slide or you have the link in the in the chat. So uh, what is the competition? The Turning Waste into Educational Wonder competition calls for uh, educators, teachers uh, in primary and secondary schools in Europe, Middle East and Africa, so in the EMEA region, to explore uh, the Lenovo's activity booklet, which uh, Marin and Luca um, uh, explained, and um, uh, integrate the activities across different school subjects and guide your students to create a diverse project reusing cardboards or simple material, exactly like you uh, saw in the, in the videos. So the Lenovo Activities uh, booklet uh, provide ideas towards the realization of a working uh, project, a working model. So you are challenged to draw inspiration from the proposed activity in the booklet and develop a new and creative project uh, fostering students' uh, creative and innovative thinking, uh, while also, on the other hand, promoting awareness uh, of sustainability and waste management. So the competition will run from September 18, so uh, next Monday, to November 30th, which is the deadline to submit um, your entries, your working projects. How uh, to join the competition? How uh, do you join the competition? So first thing uh, here, you can uh, you can see a, a step guide on how to participate. First thing um, would be to download the Lenovo activity booklet, which you can find again in the link on the slide or here in the chat. Uh, in the um, in any of the language uh, that um, that that there um, that there are for for the booklet. Um, in the booklet, as I as I was saying, you will find instructions for doing different projects in your classroom, from primary or secondary school for for studying electricity or force, and um, you should be inspired by these activities, by these examples, and make your own projects in the classroom. The aim of the competition is not to replicate the instructions uh, in the booklet, but to unleash your creativity and make a new and creative project. After you have uh, implemented the activity in your classroom, after you have uh, developed your project, you will need to um, submit your entry to, uh, to be able to win the competition. Um, the submission step um involves um two components the first being the preparation of a powerpoint presentation um and the second being the submission form the submission tool so for the first part you should prepare uh, a powerpoint presentation using the provided templates that you can find um you will find on the competition uh, web page and you will download it and use it uh, while preparing the, um, the submission. Uh, pay attention to the evaluation criteria that um, there are in the, in the template uh, um, that serves as a guideline for you to make the best project possible. To submit your entry, you should uh, fill in the submission form which again you will find uh, linked on the slide and uh, in uh, in the in the in the chat. Uh, while filling the submission form, you must select the appropriate age category for which you are entering the competition. So the age categories, as uh, mentioned, are under uh, ten years old, between eleven and thirteen, and fourteen and over. Uh, 
um, then uh, the last step will be to let the world the world know about your participation in the competition uh, and the back to school campaign 2023 by sharing your activities in social media and tagging the stem alliance uh, lenovo and as well uh, using the hashtag that you see there 23 back to school uh, and ways to wonder um, in all your social media messages the winner of the competition will receive a personal certificate winners a personal certificate of achievement and all the participants um, will receive a certificate of participation in december will uh, the selection process uh, will start and uh, the winner will be eligible for amazing awards here you can see uh, an exhaustive list of all the awards um, that um, uh, that that you could win participating in the competition. Um, as mentioned, you can join the competition in three different categories, uh, based of course on the on your students' age, uh, and uh, there will be three winning projects for each category, ranked from the first to third, uh, and. Um, as you can see, for example, the first place winner will get five WinBook la laptop uh, based on new in uh, Intel CPU, one Arduino, um, a, a full Intel skills for innovation exp um, experience, which uh, if many of you joined this year Intel competition are probably familiar with that. The opportunity to present the competition project at BET in London, um, and also the, the opportunity to publish the competition project on the uh, next Lenovo's activity booklet, and so on uh, to the third place winners. Please note, though, that some awards like laptops and Arduino kits are intended are intended for the benefits of the entire educational institutions or school uh, and do not constitute a personal price for the participant. Here uh, we offer a look at the PowerPoint template that you will use to submit the project. You will find uh, guiding questions that you that will be helpful uh, in elaborating the working project, uh, the working process and the outcomes of your project. And uh, again, pay close attention to the slide on the evaluation criteria um, uh, because those criteria will be um, the base for the um, selection process. And so when preparing your presentation, try to follow those criteria at best. You can also send us images and video uh, of the implementation of the activity in the classroom uh, showcasing students engagement and the process of creating the project but make sure that uh, uh, pictures and video do not show children faces additionally uh, for uh, for uh, for your information um, save this date to your calendar, October 25th, uh, because midway through the competition, we will hold another online event, a mini session checkpoint to answer questions from the, um, about the competition to provide support and more information to the participants. So, um, I, uh, we we are uh, to we we are arrived to the questions and answer um, uh, moment of the webinar. So if there are any questions from the chat, I will be glad to answer or pass it to our uh, to our speakers. Luigi, there is a question about the number of participants, and, and I don't know if that means number of you know, submission or if that is, you know, how many pupils should be involved for each activity. So I'm not sure how to answer this question. Maybe the person who asked the question can may, maybe specify what you mean by the number of participants. Please, uh, yes, uh, if you can elaborate more on that questions, we will be glad to answer. Um, 
can I participate with students with special educational uh, needs? Of course you can. Uh, I don't know, Marine, if you can uh, add more on the diversity and inclusion topic here. I say that we would uh, absolutely welcome so that we can also um, assess how those activity uh, you know, can be adapted and maybe we can propose some, some um, new ideas which are uh, even, even more adapted. So yes, please do so. Because we, you know, as uh, um, Luigi said in introduction, we, you know, we have great, um, we have a, a great commitment to um, diversity and inclusion. So we value, you know, uh, the fact that uh, some um, um, participants would be with uh, special needs. We value also the diversity in the group of students who will be working on the. Um, on this project, so having a mix of uh, girls and, and boys uh, would uh, also um, be really great. So yes, please do so. Um, should it be Lenovo packaging or it could be any cardboard, cardboard packaging? So it can be any reusable materials, any simple materials, any cardboard from whatever the, the, um, the point is to reuse uh, waste. So um, whatever you can think of uh, that is um, uh, that if not used for the competition would become waste, uh, you, you, are, uh, you are encouraged to use it and create uh, the best project possible. Um, can the underage, can, uh, can the under 10 age group involve preschool students? Um, here, um, I, I leave the, the answer to the experts to say if it can be also an option for for um, preschools based on the difficulty uh, of the experiments. And uh, Luca, maybe you can you can okay. answer uh, this uh, one better. Me? It's not a problem. Uh, the, the idea is to unleash creativity with, uh, with with any materials so they can participate for for sure. OK, so it's um, it's mostly based on the uh, project itself. Is it, if it's doable in the preschool, then then it's fine. Um, I thought the participation was for students, but the activities are submitted by the teachers exactly. So the project, um, uh, the teacher has to be the contact point in terms of who, uh, whose name is on the uh, submission, on the presentation, whose name is the um, uh, responsible for, uh, for uh, uh, participating in the competition. But of course, the project itself, it's, it's done in the classroom with students. Uh, the students are um, the main part of the project. Um, and but for, of course, um, legal reason, um, they they cannot um, uh, join the competition, uh, but um, it has to be on on their behalf by the teacher. Do you need the school principal signature and permission or can any teacher participate? There is no requirement of this kind. So it is an internal decision in, in the school, in the organization, uh, but the competition doesn't have any requirement of, uh, like this. So any teacher willing to participate are, um, can participate. Should it be parts of computer? Can we use parts of our computer for recycling? Of course, you can use any uh, material you can think of. Um, and try to reuse it for create for creating a project. Um, there is no restriction, let's say, on that side. There is no restriction, we, but you don't have to because the question was, should it be? You don't have to, uh, but you can. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the tip. Um, could we enter uh, multiple products from each class? Um, if I believe uh, I understood these questions correctly, yes, you can. If you have more than one class with different age, 
uh, groups, you can participate in the competition um, in for for uh, all three the category for two categories, and, and you will be eligible uh, to win in both category in, in case the project um, is, uh, is 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 the winning is the selected one. Uh, but the same teacher um, cannot participate cannot can participate even in the same age more than once in the age group more than once, but cannot win in the same age group more than once. Can we use microcontrollers with the recycled materials? Yes, again, you can. Um, you can use the really any... important thing for microcontrollers. You can use anything you want, microbit, uh, Arduino, Holocode. The very important thing is the sustainability. Uh, it's not supposed to be a microelectronics project. Uh, it, it has to be a sustainable project uh, with the microcontrollers. It's good. Okay. Is there a technical support in Italian? An email contact? Um, I believe um, the booklet is also in Italian. Uh, so I believe in there. There are contact. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Marim. Oh. Um, I don't recall if you have contact in the booklet itself. There is the dedicated web page in Italian, the booklet in Italian, the video tutorials. Is there a dedicated contact? Uh, I don't recall, but you know. If you need at some point of time to contact us, I think through STEM Alliance, the question will always uh, go through. So, um, um, surely, okay, okay. Um, let us come back to but, you. I, I don't have the answer right now, I don't recall. Uh, but um, anyway, as Marine was saying, uh, on the competition webpage, on the STEM Alliance uh, website, you will find the STEM Alliance contact. And so we will make sure to reply to any of your doubt, concern, or questions. My colleagues are not participating in this seminar today. If they would like to participate in this competition, can they do it? Of course, the competition is open to anyone who wants to join, and not necessarily to the ones that are here today. Uh, so. Uh, you are encouraged to pass the words to all your colleagues uh, and, uh, and the many, uh, the more uh, entries, the, the better. So share, share the words with the, all the teachers, you know, uh, with all your colleagues in your school and, uh, and, and everywhere you can on your social media. Um, so yes, can a project be submitted by two or more teachers and be carried out by parallel classes? So um, the project can be mm, done uh, in the classroom by uh, more than one teachers if, again, uh, that's an internal decision. Um, and as I was saying before, many of the prizes, some of the prizes are uh, collective prizes. So are for the schools, are for the classroom, as for the, as for the, um, educational organization uh, where the teachers comes from. But there are also some personal prizes, like, like for example, the opportunity to go to BET in London. Um, and also the submission forms require one name, one contact that is the, uh, the one who eventually uh, will be selected as a winner. So at that point, you can develop the project uh, in more than one teacher, but uh, then you will be required to decide internally between uh, you, who will be the, the one um, taking the prices using uh, their name on the presentation and so on. So, I don't see any more questions. I believe every concern and doubts are cleared. So we uh, we expect uh, many, many submissions and entries unleash your creativity. 
uh, and uh, participate in the Tema Alliance and Lenovo competition. Um, we, we, we look forward to seeing your projects with your classroom. Um, so thanks again to the speaker. Thanks, Marie. Thank you. Thanks, Luca. And uh, everyone have a great uh, evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.